Hello friends, so the other day I was reading a book about Napoleon and his military campaigns. I read that, during his life, Napoleon led armies in 80 battles, and that apparently he only lost 10 of those. A very impressive feat, if you ask me. So, one of his 70 victories was the Battle of Borodino, which Napoleon won against Russian Tsar Alexander I and his armies in the fields west of Moscow in the late summer of 1812. It was a close battle, but after a long day of fighting, the Russian armies retreated southward, allowing Napoleon to continue on unopposed to take Moscow, a prize which he assumed would mean victory against his greatest opponent. And yet, in retrospect, Napoleon probably wished that his feat of beating the Russians at Borodino had been the exact opposite of that. So what does that mean exactly? What is the opposite of a feat? That's right, a defeat. Our word, defeat, was originally the past participle of the French verb défaire, which is descended from the Latin verb facio, and the prefix dis, which, as we can probably guess, reverses the verb it's connected to. So the French défaire meant undo. It's, logically enough, the opposite of faire, which means to do. And its participle is the ancestor of fact and feat. From there, we can probably see how defeat is literally the opposite of feat. So when you defeat a feat, well, you're really just undoing it. And when you literally defeat a victory, so to speak, well, what do you get? Well, hopefully something better than what Napoleon got when he won the Battle of Borodino. Because in his victory, not only did he lose tens of thousands of troops during the battle itself, but all he got when he entered Moscow was a burned empty city with no food and few resources to keep his soldiers warm. Oh, and the Tsar and his representatives were nowhere to be found, so there wasn't anyone to negotiate peace terms with. After a month of figuring out his next move, and, crucially, right as winter was approaching, Napoleon decided to take his army with him back to Paris. During his retreat, he lost hundreds of thousands of men, and by the time he got home, the Grande Armée that had accompanied him to Moscow was only a fraction of its original size, and a few years later, Napoleon was out of power entirely. So, yes, there were many reasons for his downfall. But, according to historians, the turning point in Napoleon's fortunes came when he decided to invade Russia. So perhaps defeat at Borodino was no feat at all. Napoleon probably wished he had been defeated, in which case he might have been able to return home earlier, and his troops wouldn't have frozen to death. So, although in the modern sense of the word, most scholars agree that, in the short term at least, Napoleon's army defeated the Russians on the fields of Borodino, in the literal sense, it seems that, in the long term, the Russians defeated him, and the Battle of Borodino was indeed the beginning of his undoing. Thanks for watching.